Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Shoei here again, and today we're going to be doing yet another wig review, and this wig review is brought to you by Love Me Hair, but before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today we're going to be doing yet another wig review, and like I said, this is from Love Me Hair. Now, this wig is going to be super duper easy, which is why I just went ahead and just jumped in and did a commentary and tutorial at the same time with you guys so let's get into it so the wig that i'm going to be reviewing today is the super easy curly wig with bangs a uh, fringe wig and of course this wig does have like a curly type of um bang right here so as you guys can see this is what it looks like the curls are super duper luscious really beautiful um now this wig honestly like I normally do not go for these styles and it's only because my face is like just really, really round. But at the same time, I really do appreciate these wigs because they're so easy to put on. They're also just like super cute and just fast, um, easy things to wear. Now this wig does come in 10 inches, which is the one that I have. And this one is 100% human hair. It also is 100%, uh, it's 180% density. And the cap construction is a 22.5 inches standard medium cap. So it is a regular just size medium cap. But I'm going to tell you guys how it feels. I am small headed. It may not look like that on camera, but I am small headed as you guys know. So I always adjust my straps. I'm actually going to go ahead and try her on without the straps and I'm going to let you know if it's like too, too snugged. Um, the color of this hair is a natural black. So if you want to dye this hair, sis, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to dye this hair, you could go ahead and do that, sis. Um, I will not be doing any of that crazy stuff, but we're just going to go ahead and try her on. So um, as you can see, she also does have a elastic band in there so that you can easily put her on. So let's go ahead and try this beauty on. And I'm going to be wetting her a little bit because um, I just feel like <laughs> she's a little... Um, you know, like I told you guys, this isn't normally the style that I go for, but we're going to customize her. We're going to make her look, you know, semi-cute. Now, let me just turn my brightness up just a little bit so you guys can actually see the hair a little bit more. I know my background is just a little dark. I might just turn on the light, but let's play around with this hair because this hair is definitely really soft and beautiful the luster on this hair is amazing so this is just straight out the little um the little like package thing and it's just so beautiful and luscious look at this y'all like so pretty so so pretty so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to actually pick the hair out first i'm gonna pick the hair out first and then i'm gonna wet the hair because I want to show you guys what it looks like if it's really big. So they did also send me a comb in the package. So the comb looks kind of like a pick. So we're going to pick the hair out just to see how big it gets. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wet the hair so that you guys can see what it looks like. How it looks on the page on the mannequin. So let's just pick this hair out just a little bit. Um, there's like very, very minor tangling on the hair so I could definitely appreciate that I feel like it looks better if I pick it out and that's just because I love big hair um I may just also cut the bangs a little on this wig because I just feel like these bangs are covering my eyes too much and that's the thing like with fringe fringe bangs it's a little hard because for me especially because my face is like so like round and short so um you know, I always have to cut just a little tiny bit. So I'm going to just cut a little bit just to kind of, you know, get some hairs out the way. Okay. And now I'm just going to pick the hair out so you guys can see. But this hair is super duper gorgeous. Oh, my God. So pretty. 
super duper pretty. I'm going to get my um, leave-in conditioners and we're going to spray her down just to kind of see. Or maybe I should just take her off and just like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I was going to wet her and just plop her back on. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just put some curling um, liquid on it just to kind of see. So let me just go ahead and go get, grab my stuff and I'm going to be right back so we can go ahead and wet her and play around with her and just see how she looks, um, you know, how she looks wet. So you guys can see that kind of like nice and wavy look. I also did realize that I didn't even put my lashes on um, before I started filming, so I had to go ahead and pop those on. But yes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spray her down. Now, I grabbed some water and I also had grabbed my Tijin, um Rose Curl Refresher. And I also grabbed my Palmer's um, Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, I'm always smacking myself in the face with something. But um, I also grabbed my Leave-In Conditioner um, from Palmer's just to spray it down. But we're going to see how it is with water. This looks... has a lot of beautiful like a lot of beautiful shine um the hair does become very tamed i would say if you want the hair to just stay down like so like this i would definitely um put some product in it if you do want the hair to stay i'm more of a of a type of big hair type of girl but if you really want the hair this flat i would definitely put something on it but look at how beautiful and luscious the curls are so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this side as well because i do want to take some pictures of the hair um all the way tamed um i've already taken some pictures of it bigger so i just wanted it to be a little bit tamed just a little bit but if you don't put any products on it i can definitely see this hair getting big on its own all over again so i would definitely if you if you do want the hair to be um nice and tamed and just a lot flatter and smaller i would put some type of product in it so i'm just running my fingers through it and as you guys can see there is like no tangling no tangling at all let me just take, I'm going to take some of the deep, con I mean, some of the curling um, refresher and I'm going to spray it alongside of the bangs just because my um, water spray bottle, it sprays way too much and I just don't want to mess my makeup up. Um, as you guys can see as well, you may want to cover, um, you may want to cover your forehead because this right here is just pretty much a closure. There is no like, um parting space up here or none of that it's just nothing but a closure so you may want to um go ahead and you know cover your forehead just make sure that you're covering your forehead with the hair so here are my thoughts on this wig i absolutely love the hair texture the hair texture is just really really nice and easy to work with this is really cute um i have never like if you guys have seen my other fringe fringe bang wigs, I have never um, wet the hair like this and worn it like this because I just personally really, really love um, big hair. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. It actually looks more natural like this than it does if I actually leave it big. And I think it actually looks really cute. Like, I really like it. I'm actually a fan of this now let me show you guys the back because i didn't get to show you the back of course so this is the back of the wig i feel like i always fail to do this um most of the time i do show you guys the back of the wig but maybe i just show it too fast but this is just the back of the wig so you can see the fullness when it comes to the cap construction a lot of times like um with love me hair i do tend to give them the benefit of the doubt just because i feel like a lot of times their wig cap construction is a lot bigger than 
not a lot bigger, but it's a little bigger than 22.5 um, circumference. But I can honestly say that I did not adjust the straps on this wig and it is very pretty much so snug. That can honestly be just because I didn't braid my hair. I just flat twisted my hair into like two big flat twists. And if you know me personally or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I do have a lot of hair. So, you know, the cap may be full of hair right now. But what I will say is, is that it is pretty, pretty snugged. I don't see this wig moving or anything, just to show you guys. But this is really cute. I think it's actually really cute. I hate the fact that I have this primer stain on my shirt. So don't mind that, y'all. But um, I think she's actually really, really cute like this. Like, she is giving... Um, they also did send me a pair of earrings that I wore the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and change my earrings to those because I feel like it would look a little cuter with those you know spice the look up a little bit and I was just feeling some purple for today's eyeshadow so I hope that you guys are liking this um, makeup look that I created real quick so let me go ahead and put these earrings on that they sent me look at how cute he sent me these earrings with a little bling on it super duper cute so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on to give it a little spice, spicy dice. And this is it, y'all. Like, I feel like a real Spanish mommy right now, like, with this hair. This is, this is pretty cute. This is pretty cute. I could see this. I could honestly see this really being a spring, summer type of wig. I don't really see this being a winter wig unless it's bigger. So when it's bigger, I would wear it as a winter wig. But... For the spring and summer, this is so cute. Like a curly bang wig. Let me actually cut a little bit more of these bangs. Because I feel like they're a little too long. And I don't want... um I don't want my hair like kind of like just sitting like a helmet on top of my head. So let me go ahead and do that and fix these lashes. Ooh, yes. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you like this wig more so wet or dry. I honestly really love this wig wet. It looks so cute, really pretty. I would love to thank Love Me Hair for sending me this wig to review for you guys. Also, you know, make sure that you do check them out because they do have a lot of beautiful units and different styles. I review them all the time on my channel. I have tons of Love Me Hair reviews. People ask me all the time about Love Me Hair. Y'all already know I am a huge fan. They almost never miss. So make sure that you do check them out. Also, if you haven't done so, sis, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And follow me on my socials, especially Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, which is where I'm the most active, at Peralta Knows Best. I will be putting the link below for this wig if you really want to go ahead and purchase it. And I will see you guys soon. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.